In this video, I'm going to start to work on putting some more shape into the whiskers. So first of all, what I'll do to start with is to build some more texture around the whiskers themselves by engraving the texture into the paper and then working over this with 2B and 4B pencil just to build up the tone that I want. And towards the end of the video, I will show the key thing which really does make a difference and makes the whiskers stand out from one another. Now, as I've said before, working around the whiskers is a time consuming process, but it is worth taking the time to get it right. Now it can also be very intense on the eyes as well. So what I tend to do is do a little bit around the whiskers and then I'll work on another part of the picture and then go back and forth and so on until eventually the whole picture is complete. So the key to really make the whiskers stand out, particularly for a picture of this size, is to add the shadows to them. For example, underneath and also where whiskers cross over each other. And to do this, the pencil I'm gonna use is a sharp 4H pencil. Now, when I originally drew the whiskers in, I used the 9H pencil to do this. And because it created a groove in the paper, all I have to do is simply put the 4H pencil within that groove and just run it along. And this will create a nice shadow line underneath the bottom part of the whisker. Now this doesn't really show up on the dark areas, but on the lighter areas, it gives a nice light shadow underneath the bottom part of the whisker. I then just use a 2B pencil that has been sharpened just to tidy up around the whisker itself. Now the pencil has been sharpened, but not to an absolute point because being a 2B, it's not gonna hold a point for very long anymore. And for a darker tone, I just simply apply a bit of 4B just to build up a darker depth of tone in some areas. 
Using the 2B pencil, I can now apply tone to the whisker itself. I first apply the tone with the 2B pencil and then use the blender just to smooth out and even the tone. I can do this at the face and then also at the tip if I want to add more shape to the whisker. So I'm now just going to add some subtle highlights to the whiskers. And to do this, I'm going to use the putty rubber. I'm going to roll a point onto the end of it and just lightly brush away some of the tone just to give a little bit more curvature and shape to the whisker. Now with putty rubbers, they're sticky. So basically the graphite will stick to them. So every now and again, I just need to roll a new point onto the rubber just so it's basically it keeps working. Using a 4B, I now apply some tone to the whisker that's behind just to create a bit of a darker tone to create a little bit more depth between the two whiskers. As I said before, working on whiskers is very time consuming, but it's well worth spending the time to do it and mix it up by just simply doing a few whiskers and then another part of the picture and so on. Now there is a link in the description below for all the materials that I recommend. And also as well, any questions then please leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. And please remember to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.